Our Will Dupree found out why they're so thankful in a story you'll see only on two. Thankful is a word you can find displayed throughout Shana and Ken Meyer's home, but it may surprise you that that's truly how they feel even after their loved ones suffered so terribly. There's just so much evil and I just want to focus personally more on the good because where there's evil, there's so much more good. And I think it's easy to kind of miss that. Police say a 16 year old broke into the home of Shana's grandparents and robbed and violently assaulted them on October 1st. She says they are still recovering from the trauma they survived. I don't think this is something that um, they're going to recover from quickly. It is, it's going to be a long road. Days after that break in and violent assault, Shana says her family got a surprising call from police. Two officers wanted to bring over food and check on her traumatized grandparents. For them just to go by and visit this, this elderly couple, spend 30 minutes with them, wasn't a big part of their day, but it made a big impact on them. On Tuesday, Shana's husband, Ken, went to his computer and typed out a message. He wrote to the police department to share his family's gratitude and hoped that the officers would be commended for their kindness. Well, today we learned that the Myers message here made it all the way to the police chief's office. The department is now most likely going to honor these two officers for their acts of kindness during an award ceremony in the spring. The Myers prayers are now with the other families affected by this crime spree. The suspect is accused of killing Broken Arrow teacher Shane Anderson and robbing another couple at gunpoint. Reporting from Tulsa, Will Dupree, two works for you.